So we captured a bunch of characters. This is way more than I captured the first time. So we've got these two missions. If I have three of these and three of these, I could do both of them. And yeah, they're all eligible for both, so. Alright. This is pretty awesome. This ability lets Kamin capture characters as well. And this one added one to his physical. This is the direct physical resistance. And that other one, where is it? Here, is an ability based physical resistance. So now basic physical attacks will basically never harm him. Is what I like to say, but eventually they're going to throw something at me that really hurts. So we got a free map to come check out. No, oh, I left both of these behind? Did I really? Well, let's get to it. I've got a couple more maps I want to get through and then I'm going to do some crafting and then I think I'll end this up. So this place is the place where... This is the second tutorial map where Avaro and Kisnir killed a bunch of monsters before the ruins picked themselves up and started walking. Yes, let's go. Let's see. Oh, this is a darkness attack, so it's not affected by Karin's physical resistance. Oh, this is a new kind of bat. And new kinds of bats have new kinds of bat wings for us. Alright, let's bash the goblins. Now here you see, physical attack of 9, but normally it would be 11. So probably we're looking at a 20% reduction, and then subtract defense. But there's also the ability based one, which would subtract another one. So yeah, you're basically going to have to cherry tap him to death if you want him to die. At least for a few maps. Alright, Avaro is the only one who can find secret passages, so I'm going to have him run through the entire level. Well, look at that. Putetetto. Uh, you can call them putties if you like. They're the setting slime. You bastard. Don't take control of rooms. Get up there and fight fear. Oh yeah, that thing split in half. Hey, 
He used to be one putty, but now it's two putties, so I get to capture it twice. I think I'm out of enemies. Oh no, there's an enemy left. In fact, I remember him. I remember that one. Hey, two are in the mission list. Uh, yeah. The Molten Steel Spirit. Does that sound dangerous to you? Yeah, it should. No, I just recalled him. Okay, I know what's going on. Oh. Didn't know it started there. But this is the enemy that if we beat it, we get another reward. This guy's got to have pretty good attack in order to make significant damage against... Karin. Hmm. Cotting actually does more damage, though. Now, oh, better not use that. If you ever see it in green, that means the enemy we're facing absorbs that attack. Bad idea. So the advantage is Karin's in terms of attack power, but it's that things in terms of life. Hmm. We've got plenty of time here. And P is not necessary any longer. You know, honestly, I should have left him in. Now with a couple more buffs on, Conan can really start to shine. Well, well, well. Hmm. You know, I do dislike taking risks, but... This should be pretty safe. Bingo. Hey, a Jupiter stone. Alright, let's get in here and grab our goods and go. We've got one more gather point, and I already know where it is. And that's everything. So let's enjoy it. And another one. You know, and I just can't stay away from the workshop. You know how it is. Now, normally I'd consider making that dirt thing. Here it is. This is the thing that would have buffed up Fia's magic attack power. Yes. So, this is important. These are the 
watercolor tree fruits. So if I make a bunch of those, I'll be able to yes. Yes. plant them out here. I could have sworn I already did this. But I plant these trees out here, and every three turns, each one will give me one watercolor for nut. And the watercolor nuts are... Nope, just one page. The watercolor nuts are the necessary ingredient for our healing potions here. Yeah, I leave a couple behind. Yes. I wish I had more yellow seeds because if I did, I could make some yellow seed fruits as yellow seed trees as well. So priority of the moment, I'm gonna have to be this one. I need to get some kind of plant's dried skin. Yes. Uh, pain in the ass, seriously, but pretty soon I'm going to hit a wall where if I don't get a goddess rank up, I don't get to continue. And right here I can find the enemy that will drop the item I need. Yes, go. Alright, before I forget. I want to equip this capture skill. It actually costs zero CP, so free. And I want to capture everything. Capture skill. Oh, hey. Now that we have the magic booster, we're going to use it and it'll increase our attack power with this. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have done that, I should have instead taken Fia and marched onto the feather. Alright, capture attack here. This is a no-brainer. Yes. Katarin's capture skill is based on his physical attack, so physical attack up is definitely good for us. Hmm. Well, this girl has a pretty good attack against us. I lose seven damage three times. But we're safe. And if we warm her up, then the capture we do next turn will be easy. And the thing I actually wanted to defeat has gone and run away into the lower corner there. Now this harpy, Harpua, will occasionally drop this feathers. It's useful in crafting. But this is the only harpy we will get the chance to see for, well, as far as I've gotten.
Ah, jeez. All right, we got some gold from that one. Yeah. Be more responsible. Or be more effective. There we go. And that is what we were looking for. Are we gonna do it? Not yet. Oh. Ooh. It's a Beastman assassin. Wonder who it could be. Well, we got the item we want, so we don't need any more of these guys coming out. And now we notice an interesting thing about Eel. She's just wandering around over there with her head cut off or something. If you'd been paying attention, she was ordered to kill the half-elf. Now whether she knows exactly what that Fia is associated or not is an open question. No, finally. Now that we've done this... No, I didn't even need to do it. But I'm gonna show the scene anyway. Cotton doesn't have any scene in associated with EO, but... If you take Fia and come over here... Here we go. Lump. Don't grab on to me like that. She absolutely has to go up and clump <laughs> onto every cute girl she sees. Yeah. And he just says, I have to complete my mission. But she runs away. Now, if you actually defeated her in battle, I recommend starting with Cotton in front, Fia in the back, and Avara off to one side, buffing up Fia. Then, you can take Eo out not too badly, and you get a broken giant sword, which you can take apart for... Whoops, that's not the button. Which you can disassemble in Navarro's shop. Hey, a bunch of those. Those are useful. Hmm. I get a ton of wood, which I already have a ton of. And a ton of a couple other things I already have a ton of, and like one of the things I'm really short on.